welcome to medicine handy points today the topic is surgical management of mitral stenosis let's first discuss some salient feature of mitral stenosis rheumatic fever is the most common cause of mitral stenosis my uh, mid diastolic murmur is the correct characteristic examination finding it worsened during pregnancy so it should be corrected before pregnancy and it is common in female mitral stenosis is very common in female now there are three surgical options which we can avail one is the percutaneous transmitral commissurotomy ptmc or percutaneous balloon valvotomy almost same both procedure are the same now the second is open mitral wall commissurotomy you really done these days and the last one is mitral wall replacement so these are the three surgical option available with us now percutaneous transmitral commissurotomy or balloon valvotomy it is done if following points are met the patient should be symptomatic and yha class 2 or more shortness of breath mitral wall area of equal or less than 1.5 cm square normal area is 4 to 6 cm square so it should be less than 1.5 favorable wall morphology like there should be no calcification on the wall and absence of thrombus in atrium there should be no thrombus now this is the a balloon which is placed across the mitral wall is inflated and the mitral wall is open usually it is done in female before pregnancy if they have ms now open mitral commissurotomy is really performed these days so we will not touch upon this that much now the last one is mitral wall replacement so why we do this if there is moderate to severe ms with moderate to severe mr means the walls are having mixed uh, disorder not functioning or severe pulmonary hypertension which failed to respond to medical therapy so the, this pulmonary hypertension is due to ms so sh we should replace the wall there are two wall mechanical and tissue mechanical anticoagulation lifelong and uh, tissue wall no anticoagulation but limited uh, life for almost 10 years i hope you like the video and please subscribe